Good morning, everyone. Um, it's me again, uh, doing another tutorial on how I apply my makeup. Um, today, I want to pretty much focus on how I apply um, an all Maybelline brand look. Um, I have said in my past videos that I've been really inspired by Maybelline, and um, I purchased a couple of items from my local CVS. And uh, these are the um, items that I have that I'll show in the video, um, some of the items that I've purchased that um, I wanted to create this look, um, basically inspired by um, these earrings that I will be wearing today. So um, a lot of times the makeup looks I create, um, I'm inspired by either a piece of clothing that I own, pair of earrings that I saw and then purchase. So today a lot of my inspiration can be on the season. Like for instance I did two videos or a bunch of videos based around Halloween. Um, and now this video is just basically kind of like my everyday thing that I um, may choose a piece of clothing or a piece of jewelry that I'm inspired by and I will create my look from that. Uh, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm trying not to make it so focused on talking in the beginning. Um, I kind of want to work and talk at the same time. So I'm going to get started um, in just a moment. Uh, basically, um, I have said in other videos that I'm very much inspired by color. Um, as you see, the dress I'm wearing is a really colorful dress. Um, the earrings I purchased are from a store called Char Charm and Charlie. And... Um, there's a lot of colors in the um, earrings and there's just a, a, a you know a plethora of different colors and I also love the metal accent in that too so a lot of my jewelry I play on that and I play on that in my makeup but the key color that I'm going to really be featuring is the color that's on the bottom of you know I guess it's more like an aquamarine color and that's in my dress and um, I will also be using uh, this color blue, like kind of like this kind of royal or cobalt blue color that's on the tip. I'll be utilize that in a, in a um, eyeliner. And then in terms of the metal, where I got my inspiration, I will be using that as a base color on my eyelid. And actually all the colors, all the makeup items I'm using are all from Maybelline. All the brushes I'll be using are all Makeup Academy, which is a CVS brand. And um, the only thing that I think I'm using from MAC is just my handy dandy pencil sharpener, which you've seen in other videos that I've shown. That I use this a lot, and it's one of the best sharpeners I have. But um, I just want to kind of just touch on just those uh, couple of things. So, first and foremost, as I have done in other videos, I normally start with my eyes. And um, same thing today. Start with my eyes. If you make any mistakes, you can easily clean it up. As I've mentioned in other videos with my makeup wipe. It's already dirty because I've cleaned my face, cleaned under my nails. Um, you know, clean any other remnants of makeup that could be on my face from my tutorial yesterday. So that's why it's already dirty. So like I said, if you ever see me working with a dirty wipe, it's because I utilize it to the end of it and I clean my brushes with it. Um, these particular brushes I'm using today are dual ended, majority of them. This is basically a Makeup Academy brush that is dual ended. Um, one side of it is, the, this is considered the contouring side, and this side is considering the highlighting side. Um, I'm assuming that this brush is so small, I could actually use this to contour um, with this and highlight with it but in this video I actually bought these brushes specifically for my Maybelline cosmetics because I bought these cosmetics specifically for for it to be a quick makeup look in the morning to wear to work um, so I'm gonna start with my Maybelline palette it's they normally call it expert wear this particular one is I believe it's 48Q the name of the eyeshadow is Emerald Smokes. Emerald Smokes. So I'm only going to be using two colors in this um, video. So um, on the 
highlighting side of the brush I will be using number one they don't really have a color for it they just say one base and I'll be using number two the contouring side which is number two lid um, on actually my eyelids so I'm gonna go ahead and start for some reason my eyes today are really blurry um, I think I'm just really tired um, with my cancer diagnosis I don't know if that's one of the things um, I have mentioned about my diagnosis and other videos so if I ever look like I'm tired I did get a good night's rest but I am always waking up feeling really fatigued and I've been feeling that way for actually quite some time before my diagnosis so um, that's one thing that's really been hard for me I'm naturally a really energetic uh, person and one of my struggles that I've been struggling with for quite some time now is my fatigue. So me doing these videos while I'm on medical leave is kind of just making the time go by. And the reason why I actually started it and my other videos you will see uh, some of the things I'm going through. I think I may make some videos on like, make it also like a video diary. Um, of how I'm feeling and my medical situation but right now I haven't had any medical updates in a while because um, I'm waiting to find out my surgery and it's just been so frustrating that I'm not working right now um, I'm trying to get my financial situation together so that's a waiting thing as well and um, it's just been really hard it's just been really really hard I'm going pretty heavy on the brow highlighter because I'm actually using a brush that I normally don't use so it may look really heavy because I'm not using my angled brush that I normally use that I've shown in other videos plus I'm not using the highlighter that I normally use in other videos so it really looks really really severe and I'm not even sure how I'm going to even clean that up but um, I'm just gonna wing it. Actually, I look like a drag queen right now, so that's okay because I do love drag queens. I really do, <laughs> actually. So this look was um, basically created to be really fast. So I'm gonna keep on talking because I really don't feel like I need music in my video. I talk a lot. Where if I had music in my video, you probably wouldn't even hear me, or you probably would rather hear the song than hear me. So, so these th these videos are really more or less tutorials. And I really like to do my um, videos showing how I apply my makeup rather than how my first videos I uploaded to my channel where I just was just walking through all the products I used because I had I, I had just filmed straight through and it seems like um, YouTube particularly if you're new like I am um, they don't want your videos longer than 15 minutes so that's why you're gonna see a lot of like of my videos broken up because I don't edit my videos and I was gonna try something else today on like pausing it in between but um, I probably do that down the line I'm using brushes that I've never really used like this brush I literally just opened this up today but I did buy it specifically for this Maybelline eyeshadow palette so um, it is new for me and I'm just applying num the number two lid with the contour inside just directly on my eyelid most eyeshadows when you see me do makeup I don't really layer eyeshadows on my lid I don't really feel like I need that so um, when I wear when I'm wearing the eyeshadow um, I'm trying to make my videos more like accessible and easier for you know beginners to do and I don't even consider myself a beginner I have been wearing makeup for quite some time I actually been wearing makeup since I was six years old to be honest it's a funny story but um, I remember it being picture day and um, well I don't remember it my mom has a photo it basically was like picture day and um, I decided that I wanted to wear makeup for picture day like my mom um, was a cosmetologist and she passed in 2003 and um, I may have mentioned that in another video and 
I, I always saw her put makeup on every morning, particularly when she goes out. She would never be caught dead without wearing makeup. I'm not so much like that. Like, I will go outside without makeup. Actually, in the summer months, I don't wear makeup at all. Um, I may wear, like, lipstick and um, maybe mascara or something like that if I really feel like it. But um, I'm not one of those ladies that, like, oh, I can't leave out the door without makeup on. I love makeup, but I'm not one of those people that, like, are... I would never be caught dead without having my face on. My mom was one of those women, though. You know, she's a little bit old school, so grew up in a different time time period where women always had to wear makeup and have their face on. And I mean, she grew up and she was born in 1941, so, you know, different time period. Things are different back then. So, you know, as a lady, some of those things that um, people would do you know, like getting dressed up to go to travel. Those are some things that I do miss times of the past. Like sometimes my husband's like, really, honey? Like we're going to the store and you're like full makeup on. And I'm like, yeah, let me live. This is part of being a woman, you know? This is part of, you know, I've, I, I'm one of those people that believe that if you look good, you feel good. You know, and that doesn't necessarily mean you gotta have like goo gobs of makeup on. But if you... Or have a new purse and it makes you feel good. You know, that's good. Why not? You know, if buying that lipstick is re inspiring your whole fall, you know, clothing or inspiring you to buy yourself a little something. I'm, I'm one of those ladies that I believe in treating yourself. I mean, before being married, I always was a person that believed in, um, dating yourself if you were single you know I was single I dated someone for a long time um but when I met my husband it took him six weeks to propose to me so other person I was with I was with them for like nine years and we never got that serious but even when I was dating that person I always believed in treating myself well you know like, if he's not buying you flowers, buy yourself flowers. You know? If you want to go to the movies and go to dinner, and he's being, like, kind of a jerk, take yourself out to dinner. Go and, and, and um, have dinner by yourself. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? So, so far, this is just going to, um, in this video, it seems like it's just going to really be my eyes that I'm working on. Because I'm, I'm, it seems like I'm approaching the 15 minute mark. But basically, the you've seen me use this pencil before in other videos. But this is a different color because today I will be taking out my cornrows and um, be showing my natural hair. And my natural hair is um, kind of like a dark brown, reddish brown. My roots are ac actually really dark. They're like an off black. So when I was wearing my wig... In other videos, um, that color wig was like a 1B, but on me it looked like it was black. So the defining pencil, the, the, the defining mechanical pencil I was using in those prior videos were um, a MAC pencil, but it was spiked. This one is called Strut. I use it so much, there's no, no markings on it, so you wouldn't know that it's MAC, but I've been using these for years. And this, I only use those two colors. So... You, if you ever see me using the pencil and I have not shouted out, it's always going to be in my description. And I'll, I'll put in which one it is, whether it's spiked or strut. Spike is a darker one, strut is a lighter one, and those are the only two that I use for my brows. So um, that's that with the eyes. Seems like I won't be able to continue um, further. So that basically is just a beginning look of how I... Highlight under my brow bone. Um, I showed you what eyeshadow I use for Maybelline. The only MAC item I'm using on my face is just for the brow, defining brow. And actually I cleaned up, I don't know if you noticed when I was just chit-chatting, I cleaned up my highlighter on my face and it is pretty severe but I may tone it down. I may tone it down, I may have to go ahead and use my MAC um, foundation 
to go over it to kind of soften it a little bit but this is how my eyes are looking um, picking up the that that you know um, tarnished uh, bronze color on my lid and then the highlighter so that's both Maybelline and I will have that under uh, my description so I'm coming back see you in a bit 